Hi there. This is the folly of the Collie, and it's in the Collie Koltanowski system, which was one of my favourite openings as a young man. We'll see how White's recapture in the centre with the wrong piece brings on his rapid downfall. d4, d5, knight f3 and knight f6. e3 suggests White wants to enter into the Collie, and here Black chooses the Fianchetto line with g6. I remember as a collie player, I used to prefer my queen's bishop to be outside of the pawn chain against this fianchetto line. So this could be quite good for black. After bishop d3, bishop g7, white develops traditionally in the collie with knight bd2. And after castles, uh, white can go for the zuckertort line or the koltanovsky line with c3. We're looking at the koltanovsky line. Uh, the c3 may be a little bit rushed. Usually it's played after black has challenged in the centre with c5. So black plays knight bd7. After castles, now black gets the c5 moving. Well, in the Koli Koltanovsky, white aims for an e4 break in the centre at an opportune moment. Usually that break is supported by queen e2 or in many cases rook e1, as we see here. Black chooses to play b6, supporting the pawn on c5, and to allow the bishop to come out to b7 or to a6. And now white goes for the break in the centre. This is all um, more or less theory at the moment, with an equal position. Black can take any of those pawns in the centre, the d pawn or the e pawn. Here we're looking at c takes on d4. And this is where white goes wrong. White should obviously take back with the pawn, with the c-pawn. If instead knight takes on d4, then it's black who's going to have the upper hand straight away. Well, there's many things black can do, but knight c5 really seems on the ball because it's straight away gaining time hitting the bishop. The queen can defend the bishop on e2 or queen can go to c2. But uh, bishop c2 looks more natural. And now after d takes on e4, after knight takes on e4, we'll just have a look at another line now. Instead of knight takes on e4, this is an interesting line. If white tries b4 first hitting at the knight, then black will develop the bishop, bishop g4 hitting the queen. And after f3, e takes on f3, that's threatening to push the pawn, check, and win the queen. So that pawn has to be snapped up on f3. G takes f3. And now we see the bishop and the knight both arm pre under fire. So the knight can drop back to e6. That's a clever move because now if f takes on g4, knight's going to be taking the knight on d4. And then if c takes d4, Queen takes d4 is going to be check and hitting the rook on a1. So that knight e6 is a nifty retreat. And if knight c6, then queen c7 ensures black has the upper hand still. So going back to the position here after d takes on e4, instead of b4, we're looking now at knight takes on e4 for white. Black's going to retain the advantage now with knight f takes e4. After bishop takes e4, knight takes e4, and rook takes e4, the winning move now for black is the simple e5, hitting the knight on d4, which is pinned now to the queen, which is unprotected on d1, and black should go on to press for a win. So this has been the folly of the collie in the collie Koltanowski system. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.